Hi guys, my name is Caroline and this is Design by Caroline. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I really hope you'll enjoy the videos that I will post here. Today we're going to start off with a sketch render of the gesture chair by Steelcase. I chose this particular chair because it has so many textures and materials and I thought we could go through them one material at a time and see how we can render them as fast and realistic as possible. Today's sketch took about an hour to render but if you're a beginner it'll probably take a bit longer. I will put a link to the sketch in the description below so you can sketch render alongside with me. So let's get started! So as I said before, I have prepared a sketch and I've also prepared some colors which will be the base colors for the different materials. You can of course use any colors you like. We start off by roughly outlining and filling the different areas with the colors. The light gray one will be the metal parts, the dark gray and the black one will be the plastic parts and then we have the orange one which will be the woven fabric. After this we erase the color which is outside the lines. So this usually takes a lot of time. So if this isn't going to be a high resolution sketch, then don't worry too much about it. But if it is, then it is a crucial step to make the lines look really neat and sharp. In this case, we will skip ahead to the finalized color blocks. Moving on, I hide all the color layers except for the material I start with, which in this case is glassy metal. Um, I create a layer above the color layer and I tap on it to choose Clipping Mask. This will let you add color only within the existing shape. Glossy surfaces usually have a higher contrast between their highlights and their shadow areas. Additionally, there are also sharper lines on the highlights and shadow areas. If you create almost like stripes of grey, white and black, it will automatically look very glossy. I use the airbrush first and then I put in smaller lines with a calligraphy pen. Creating a new layer as a clipping mask for the dark grey color of the seat shell, we move on to a matte grey plastic. I had to put some opacity here in the beginning to see my sketch lines. Use a large airbrush to create soft highlights and later shadow areas, which will give the impression of a matte surface. So generally the rule is, the softer and bigger the brush, the more matte the surface. But opposed to glossy materials, keep in mind to choose colors that are just slightly darker or brighter to keep the contrast down and your surface matte.
Some Sharper highlights can be used to make more important elements pop, like in this case the holes in the backrest. With the new clipping mask, the same approach can be used for the matte black plastic. Overall, just try to get an overview in between to see if there need to be any more shadows or more contrast in some places. A new clipping mask and a new material this time will sketch under the woven fabric. Here we can use the Hessian brush to create a texture. I'm usually struggling with this fabric stuff so just experiment a bit and if you find a brush that works better for you just go for it and please let me know. To create some depth in the texture, make two clipping masks on your orange color layer and use one for a texture that is a bit lighter than the base color and one for a texture that is a bit darker. I usually put the darker one uh, on multiply, but I'm not entirely sure if that changes a lot. Then go in with the airbrush on a clipping mask beneath the ones with the texture and add nuances similar to the base color to get some realistic looking shadows. Of course our chair needs a cast shadow as well, for that I use the airbrush again and a dark grey colour to make a kind of loose fade out shadow. I then add some darker spots right where the wheels would hit the ground. Last but not least, we can do some final touch-ups such as adding a few extra sharp highlights, a background color, and a brighter spot in the background to create some depth. And we're done! I really hope you liked this video and that you've learned something new today. If so, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below and let me know in the comments if you want me to cover anything in particular in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!